Hello and welcome to this presentation about knowledge visualization for Wikipedia. It's part of research by an MSc student, Ji Huang Wang, for his Master's in Computing Knowledge Management in the Dublin Institute of Technology, Ireland. What do we know about Wikipedia? Wikipedia is an extremely popular website and a very popular encyclopedia. What is interesting and different about Wikipedia as opposed to most encyclopedias is that it's created by a community, an online community, where any user can contribute to articles. This means there is no centralized point of control, unlike traditional encyclopedias. When we look at a Wikipedia article, we can see that there are many revisions, and it's difficult to get a clear picture of how an article has reached its current state of being, because it's difficult to see the path by which different people have edited, amended, deleted, and corrected points in an article. The problem with Wikipedia is if a particular section of people who have a particular bias about a topic, if they are the strongest contributors to an article, often the articles will reflect that bias. Wikipedia has a number of tags in it that allow any user to point out bias that exists in articles, but it can be often the case that the content reflects a specific type of bias. Other problems which people have brought up are the problems of quality, reliability and consistency. There are a number of metrics that, that can measure these, for example, word count or authority of authors. And comparisons have indicated that online Wikipedia is actually a much better encyclopedia than online Britannica or online Encarta. But nonetheless, Wikipedia, because it is open to all users, is open to vandalism. Another important point to remember about Wikipedia articles is that they're an evolving, growing, changing thing. They're not static at all, so that means to understand how the knowledge is changing within an article requires a dynamic visualization process. The history of the articles, the various revisions, who changed what, what was added, is available, but in a log-like fashion, which is difficult to interpret and visualize. The idea of this research is to investigate the usefulness of creating a visual tool to represent the history of article revision in Wikipedia and it's also to see how that tool could help improve knowledge creation and sharing within Wikipedia. The tool that has been created as part of this research is available at the following address, http www.comp.dit.ie dt217 slash jwang slash jw.html. What you're seeing on the screen is two snapshots of the same article on knowledge management. The bubbles represent different word content, different sections of the articles, different things. This will be explained in a lot more detail in part two of this presentation. For now, what we would like very much is to get some help, because part of this research is to get feedback on the visualization tool. So if there's anybody out there who is very interested in knowledge visualization or the evolution of articles in Wikipedia, Please go to the website, as mentioned before, comp.dit.ie, dt217, jwang, jw.html, and give us some feedback. The visualization tool in action is available there. Thank you very much for your time.